previously. The school teacher Yokosawa is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets. And to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Chapter 8 Yeah, that's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho, Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. He lied when he said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. Ihara's response to we the bullying the thing kind of seems to be kill miss. everybody who uh we'll notice what they can't. He deems responsible for, for not Can you put aside the pain and do the work you bringing to Mikoshiba do? to justice for what he did I to his son? Right. Sawa didn't like testify in court, so in it's Ihara's mind that makes her guilty. Murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kawanda the Handyman. Where that leads is that Soma's gang was after Kawana, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kawana. Yeah. Except Kawana. Oh, yeah, a no, fake she man, was like just his alias. You know, intimidated into not uh, not testifying. Kitakanta. Soma gave us that. I don't know. Have to be as thorough as I can. What the? Well, let's start uh, examining. <laughs> hey. No serious wound or obvious wounds. Serious wounds, not obvious ones. It's, they'll perform an autopsy. Anything? So, what's cause of death? Clues to the truth. What well, cause of death? Are there. That tells me there's Suspicious. probably. Okay, yeah. Blood. Not a lot, though. Yeah, looks like it. Trail of blood. Yeah, probably hers. And. Managed to reach over there. Kurokawa Academy yearbook. Hey. Yagami-san, isn't that your book from when Sawa-sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Oh yeah, we no, uh, it so wasn't proportional to begin with, because, maybe she was trying you know, to leave murder. Us not, uh, not the answer. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? Kind of frowned on the mess of the murder scene, yeah? If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. But yeah, Ihara didn't seem like the most level-headed guy to 
to do all this shit. What do I do with this yearbook? Perhaps open it and look in it. Don't touch it. Look at it until the cops arrive. Take the yearbook with you. I'm gonna just slide that into my pocket. I'm gonna they don't need it. For now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? Probably not, no. Of course not. But fuck legal this time. <laughs> Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Hmm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. <sighs> it's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Exactly. Can't bring that up. Fine, fine, I'll do it. You and that whole burglary ring of yours. Alright, I don't have a lot of time left. Let's keep looking. How are they able to get in? Hmm. Can I go look at the uh, door over here? They cut the door chain with a bolt cutter. Cause of death. Suspicious. Oh, what is this? What the? Yes, yes it is. Hmm. Hmm. Smartphone. Could this be Sawa Sensei's? Probably. Maybe some RK thugs barged in, took her phone, and threw it in here. What do you want to do? Check her mail? Call log? Yeah, I do. Suspicious. I always have to, like, anytime any game gives me the chance to rotate items like this, always have to look at the back. You never know. Maybe it's just uh -huh. all my years of playing Resident Evil. Hey. No good. It's got a pin. We don't have time to crack it now. Cops will be here soon. Why would there be anything on the so back of the phone? I don't know, but here? I check anyway, you know, yeah, just in case. Yeah, unfortunately. But let's look around some more. Suspicious. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Damn pixel hunting. Jeez. There's one visible wound here. Uh. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. Think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to her. An ice pick to the nape of the neck would be fatal. There we go. That's everything. Let's GTFO. I see. So, Hachat, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was. Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamracho known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Gaze closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Well, does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? The cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Hmm. 
Don't hesitate. They won't hesitate to kill someone just to shut them up. And what do they want with Kawana? Nabe-san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. At least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, man, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. And just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul-mouthed as fuck. But not bad, Ops. <sighs> what now? Nabe-san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, bad. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? Yeah, so far he's still not like, it might have been you, Yagami. And, Mikoshiba's and I, I do also appreciate that. In which case, that. wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell, and they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. We bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. Hell do you? Cool it, Sakurai. This is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa Sensei, well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but please do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to, well, None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now, spare a prayer for Sawa-sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. Okay. We go to the chairman's office, and... Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. 
I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose, but I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. I would super rather you not no, get involved, actually. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Yagami-san... <sighs> okay. Listen. You're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes. You're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. Are there other members of the MRC? Besides her and her brother? I've yet to see any of them. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. In that detective's report, Saba-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yagami-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK. And it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface, all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yagami-san, if you would. Could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. No matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. Your 
a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Ah, oh, man. Alright, I'll go check out Class 2 too. Yeah, it, the stretched coil is an off brand slinky. Yagami san, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Miko Shiba sensei's body. Now Sawa Sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. Sucks. Sawa Sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy, and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiba Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you! Yeah? Fuck off, you little twerp! What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san, well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody-two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa Sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! Yagami is derived from eight and God. Huh. I did not know that. So, about Akane... She was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. Gross. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. I would hope so. So she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. I'm sorry, Koda. For everything we did to you. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. 
things. Well, they don't seem to be doing terribly. I think I'm uh, leave this building now. Yokohama 99. 